school, yeah? A little rustified, a little bit. I'm taping that. I think we're taping that. Huh? Alright? We're taping that already. That fast, yo. That fast, yo. That fast. That fast. That fast. Welcome back to downtown with RB. I'm all done. And I'm B Knox, sitting here chilling, drinking my Hennessy Black. That, that, that is a smooth, cool drink that makes you feel like you're important. <laughs> if, you, if you ever look at your life and you say, hey, man, I'm depressed. I don't have any friends. Grab a bottle of liquor. Now, I'm gonna ask you you got your own friend for the rest of your life. About a year and a half for the rest of that day. you drinking all, like, you know, clear liquors? Nah, nah, it wasn't a year. It wasn't a year, but it was, it was like, that was, that was back when I got married. That was like uh, four years ago. About four really? years ago, so all I was doing was like, look, I've been on a doctor like after that. They turned me, Joe. After Turry, huh? After, t man, after, 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 <laughs> after the side of the bowling league, because the, the thing was, the thing was, like, when we leave work and we get a bottle to drink on the way, so they get a fifth Remy, I get like a pint or something like that, but yeah. it, it got to a point, it just wasn't the same thing. So, so I, I started drinking some Remy, I started with the Remy VS, and after that, VSOP, sorry, I know the VS is shit, but I started with the Remy VSOP and all that, and after that, I'm with Dog Leg, I'm not with all of it. I'll drink, um, I'll drink Remy, I'll drink Hennessy, and I'll drink Crown. Outside of that, I'm not giving you much on the Dog Leg side. But, um, alright, so we'll be at NFL lockout. NFL, NFL lockout. All right. So. All right. So the the events of yesterday. Um, right now today is the twelfth March. Right. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Um, the players. Uh, they met their day day and line by uh, deciding decided to decertify, and as a consequence, today the owners at twelve a.m. a.m. in the morning decided to lock them out. So, what are we gonna do without football? Cause I'm thinking that's Probably where we had it. What am I gonna do without football? Yeah. I'm gonna take a bottle. I'm gonna <laughs> pour some ice, put some ice in the cup, and I'm gonna drink that. Play Call of Duty. <laughs> play with my son. I'm gonna do what I would have done any Sunday other day. Asia. Sunday, Sunday. Honestly, Asia. All, all that guarantees me. And a lot of my family, your last name Palmer, then you probably laugh because you know that this is how it. I'm just gonna be going to church on Sunday. <laughs> it's just, I won't be taking that yeah, football ice like from church. A little bit and that's it, you know what I'm saying? Really, and, that's and, and my my relationship with my significant other will probably grow, you know, tenfold on some days. Because mm -hmm. on Sundays we kinda have an agreement that I'm Speak pretty much yourself, gonna man. be in front <laughs> of in, in front of, a, uh, of the TV for about the next, you know, from eleven to hey. about eleven. Hey, but you speak for yourself, brother. Sunday you probably <laughs> go out to eat and stuff like that, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me see. What, right, but, uh, what I'll do without NFL, um, I'll probably, I'll probably, honestly, I'll do y'all work on Sunday. Y'all work. You know what I mean? No lie. I'll, that, that'll be my y'all work time. Because, I mean, it's, my life ain't, I listen, I listen to people that call the radio say, yeah, I, yeah. first of all, I listen to a lot of uh, sports talk radio, so I hear a lot of people that call and they'll say, like, you know, well, you, you do you do as well, you know what I'm saying? You don't hear people like, man, yeah, I mean, they need to get this together because I'm the one that's suffering. No, you're not. Nah. You're not losing the pay. The, no one the only person I should call and say they're suffering the family, is that guy yeah. that depends yeah. on that check yeah. from out, out there selling bed. And, yeah. and you know what I'm Out there or out there, the dude throwing hot dogs, the dude working at the Johnny yeah. Rockets. Yeah. Instead of yeah. high ass, price ass burgers, that, yeah. man, I'm doing some hard I mean, stuff. football I, it's my favorite sport, obviously, but. Um, it does in the, in the grand scheme of things. It's not that important. Yeah, you know. You know what I mean? mean, it's fun to watch. <laughs> but I but you just gotta have perspective of life. Right, because no, honestly, yeah. if you can't live with a lockout, what the hell do you do once football? What do you do from yeah. February to uh, to August? You pretty much just go to ESPN and click on NFL all the time, or go to your message board all the time. Oh yeah, message board. Uh, everybody on the dot net. Thank y'all for all uh, uh, watching the show and all that. I appreciate that. All 80 y'all. I thank y'all for that. So please, <laughs> so for the rest of y'all to go, just look at it, man. Holler at me on yeah. that joint. My fan for life on the Wolfpack.net. So I want to ask you this. Um, who do you side with? Mm, uh, if, if you had to pick a side between if, the if, owners if and I, players. If I had to pick a side with the gun on my head, it's the players. And the reason why is because it's not the players. The players did not, and, and the players did not say, all right, we need, to, we need to go out here and tear the contract up and do this yeah, thing all yeah, over again. Yeah. The owners did that. Yeah. Because the owners are saying we lost money, but... Much like we saw today watching ESPN, you got the owners in there talking about, right, There's we no this. way in the world. There's no way they're losing No money. way. The Super Bowl highest ratings ever. It takes $5 million for a 30 minute, 30 second spot. 30 seconds. Commercial? 30 seconds. Come on, man. Just to sell some Doritos? Man what? has an uh, exclusive, uh, exclusive deal with license. The I mean, come on. 
no way in the world. Direct the, TV. The amount of money that CBS, ticket, Fox, and no, ESPN yeah. pays for the NFL no, and yeah. NBC. Pay no, for, yeah. You cannot say they lose a money. They're not. The no thing way, is, yeah. they want they want to have a greater surplus of money to play with. <laughs> and it'll say basically what it is, is, is it's just all right. I went out and I bought all these stadiums. I went out and I bought this. I went out and I bought that. So I'm like, all right, I'm I'm digging into my money now. So because I'm digging into my money, I'm like, all right, we need to rethink this because I'm digging into I'm digging into a lot of my money see, trying to make the, more. Here's the deal. I don't think any owner over the past ten to fifteen years have built their own stadium. Really, they don't. Mm, I mean, you know, I mean it's not like anybody's out there just saying, tax, all right, I got a bill and I'm sitting there paying you money. Yeah, taxpayers typically kind of like. You know, yeah, they they they, somewhat, they, they definitely take the part. There's definitely something that we pay for stadiums. There is something that, well, so, some y'all. Pay. I mean, <laughs> nah, you, you probably pay it too. Pretty much do. All the county towns that that, that, that stadium in Landover. You know, yeah, you probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got Merkel on that one. Hey, <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot, Jack Kent Cook. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna blame you. Oh yeah, let me let me let this be known. I love you, Dan Snyder. I you are my man, though. I don't care what anybody say. You are my dude. You need to get you a new PR rep, dog. Because honestly, you take too much flack for nothing. Nah, I kind of nominate this guy. That dude is awesome. Yeah. You take you 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 honestly take too much flack. <laughs> you take too much flack. Yeah, especially on the fans. I mean, one day we'll definitely do a you know a dame sniper talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
some things that we're going to put money on. Oh, yeah, things going to put yeah, money but on. This and right here, this right we'll, we'll leave that one. All right. I'll get, okay, all right. So, in and out this segment, ultimately, NFL lockout. You sound with the players? You sound with I'm with the players, and I also believe that that's the question I asked you. Um, will, will there be any games missed? There won't be. I, I think we missed some games. I'm definitely a players guy in this whole battle. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's just a, it's just what it is right now, man. I, I'm totally expecting not to have football, you know, for a couple of weeks. Hey, but you know what, though? We'll always have Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> and not Tiger Woods a guy, Tiger Woods a game. All right, y'all, that's going to end this segment. Talking about the NFL lockout. Let me get over. We're going to go back to this segment. Our, ep our episode, our song is Calling All Thug Ews about the back of the <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we'll be right back, y'all. Thank <laughs> you.